Are you ready to unlock the power of God in your life? Welcome to Hightower Ministries Podcast. I'm your host, Karen Ordine, and I, along with my husband, Bill, will bring forth prophetic preaching and teaching that will unlock a deeper revelation of God's Word. So get ready for a powerful word that will raise your faith to believe God for more in your life today. Hello and welcome to Greater Glory. I'm Kira. And I'm Bill. And we're High Tower Ministries. You know, we've been praying for you. Us and our whole team have been praying for you and seeking the Lord for the days ahead for the body of Christ, that we would we would be able to get the divine revelation that we need to rise up as the army of the Lord that God has called us to be. Amen. Amen. And we know today is going to be a day of great revelation and transformation for a lot of people. They get to watch this broadcast from all over the world. Yeah. So we want to encourage you not to keep it to yourself. Think about three people that that really needs a touch from God right now and at least reach out to one or two of them and uh, and, and send them a message on your social media page, on your link, or maybe on Messenger or our text and just say, hey, here's the link to Hightower Ministries broadcast. Take a look at this. This message It's really going to bless your life. Mm-hmm. And we want to encourage you, our viewers, to watch over this over this hour or half hour or whatever God wants to do today and, um, and, and really let the Lord touch you because we know that the word will not return void, but it's going to do what God called it to do. Amen. And we believe today is going to be a great day of transformation and day of revelation for a lot of people. So do your part and share what the Lord is doing right here in the earth, because lives are being changed because of what we're doing here at High Tower Ministries. And we thank you for your support in that as well. Yes, absolutely. You know, the title to today's episode is Receiving His Divine Nature. And this is part one of a, of a two-part series. And we have hope that you have been expecting to receive from the Lord today, because who knows here that having great expectation is faith. That's right. Come on. Amen. Amen. That's yes. what faith is, is That's having right. great expectation in the Lord. Oh, yeah. And we've been, been training and, and teaching and preaching on the mighty benefits of being a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. And these benefits are only for those that are in Christ and have the kingdom of God within. Hallelujah. And, yeah. and when you're born again, you become a citizen of the kingdom okay. and you trade your citizenship with this world for a divine citizenship on, that is not subject subject to this world's ordinances. Right. We are we've been transferred from darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. And you're under a different governing power. That's right. You know, and the enemy always tries to to get us to give up our rights, mm-hmm. doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Tries to get us to submit to him mm-hmm. by tempting us to follow after our flesh what feels good or what seems right Mm -hmm. or what even looks attractive to the body, you know, to, to our, you know, but God will remember those that will endure to the end. Come on now. You know, and and we know that in in Malachi three, the Lord speaks of the, of a book of remembrance. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It says in uh, uh, verse 16, it says they, then they that feared the Lord spake often to one another and the Lord hearkened and he heard it. You know, that God God listens to your conversations about him. And, And it says, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that fear the the Lord. Hallelujah. And, and that thought upon his name. So when you are communing with your friends and family or spouse about the Lord, he's listening and he's writing all of that. Even when you think about him, yes, he knows. Hallelujah. (laughs) And you are being, you're being written about in the Lord's book of remembrance. And it says, and they, they shall be mine. God says, saith the Lord of hosts in that day, when I make up my jewels and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that, that saveth him in verse 18, it says, then they shall return. Then it says, then ye shall return. You are going to return. Yeah. And, and, and it says, you're going to discern between righteous and the wicked, mm-hmm. between they that serveth God and him that serveth not God. Okay. You know, it's, it's, and, and don't, it's a clear, it's a clear distinction right now. Even in our day, it's a very clear distinction. You know, that gray area has really become a line. Either, either you're standing with God or you're standing against God. Yeah. And remember, the enemy comes not 
not but to steal, kill, and destroy, mm-hmm. as we know in John 10, 10. Mm-hmm. And the devil is a thief, and he is always after what doesn't belong to him. The benefits of the believer don't belong to his kingdom. Hallelujah. And he not only tries to stop you from walking in your your destiny, walking in the benefits and your inheritance from heaven that God's given you in the kingdom, but he drives the heathen to even try to to uh, to to obtain spiritual power yeah. through another way yeah. other than going through Christ. Come on, that's right. But you know, but the word tells it. us uh, in John 10, 1, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, come on, that he that entereth not by the door of the sheepfold, but climbeth up another way, the same as a thief and a robber. That's right. Come on. Amen. Because Jesus is the only way. That's right. Jesus is the only way, and he is the door. He's the door. He's the door. And you know what? He, he's not, he will always be the only way. Yeah. And uh, and and we have you know we have all uh, different um, set you know there there we have all different types of uh, religions and that that govern um, that govern people. But um, but when you think about the 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 earthly uh, realm when we're living out our, our our realm, really the only way to get to the Father is through the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know, and a lot of people in our day will try to say that all the religions are. Are, is, is the same God. It is not the same right. God. It, it, it is not. Well, Christianity, we serve the one true living God. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> That's and, right. and the world doesn't really look at religions, but regulations. What what's what's telling me what I have to do and what I, you know, what mm-hmm. I can't do and what I can do. Yeah, that was but I was just saying as a side note yeah. that um that uh, the world will try to say that it's the same god but it's not right you know we serve jehovah god yeah and he's not the same as buddha or allah right. or any other god he is he is the one true living god right and and there's a there's a real difference amen? absolutely and um and, you know we've got different a set of, of different rules and regulations that govern our lives in in the kingdom um then that are not for the non-believer you know the non-believers have their their ordinances in the earthly realm, but we have a different set of rules and revel- regulations or for standards, standard, God standards, for, right? For kingdom, yeah, amen, yeah. And, and and we we live in a world today that we even need to guard our ears mm-hmm. and our hearts from those that even call themselves Christians, but don't really know or believe the word of God to its fullness. Yeah. And you know they 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 say they're Christians, mm-hmm. but they don't know the word, or they don't believe and receive the word. Right. And Jesus is the word. They'll, so, they'll say they're a Christian and then attack you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for uh, for for not uh, compromising the word because yeah. they don't know the word. So you know we have to guard our ears and our heart and our eye gates. Yeah. Amen. You know, yeah. How many of you know that that if you don't stand on the sure word of of the Lord, the Bible, what the Bible says, there are some really slippery slopes that you can slide down Come if on. you're yoking up that's with right. that greasy grace movement or someone that's in that greasy grace movement and what they're putting out. Because if you now. don't know the word. If you don't stand for for the word and the truth, you'll fall for anything. Yeah. You know, you've got to check it against the word yeah. because the word of God is truth. Mm-hmm. It is the truth. When you want to find truth, it's right here. Yeah. If you if it is not in here and doesn't line up with God's word, then it's not for you. Nope. People will make excuses for why they're not seeing the power of God in their lives instead of having faith. That God really is who he says he is and that he really will do what he said he's going to do. But they would they would rather make up a whole bunch of excuses as to why they're not seeing the power instead of just having faith that he will do it. Right. Amen. And, And it just shows you that they don't have the word of God written on the tablets of their heart. And and you have to spend time with God in his word for that to happen. You know, they've got a, they've got zeal with no righteousness. Mm. Greasy grace Christians will say things like, well, you know, I prayed. And, you know, if God doesn't do it, well, we're just going to have to trust that if this is his plan for you to be sick or this is just his plan for for you to, you know, not not have the fullness of of, of all the what well, the word is telling you. That's greasy grace stuff. That's right. that's just that's not even that's not Bible. That's not being a believer <laughs> in not, faith. It's not it's not walking in faith at all. Yeah. You're making excuses 
for not standing on the word. Right. And you know, when we pray for the sick, we should believe that that for God to do a miracle healing right then. I mean, yeah. in, in order to be worked out in that person's mm-hmm. life, we need to have faith yeah. that God's word works. Mm-hmm. We got to work the word yeah. in faith and believe the Holy Ghost is going to come through. Amen. The Lord's going to come through. Our Bible tells us that sickness is not for us. Jesus is the answer to sickness. He sent his word to heal us. Jesus is the word. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's, the, the, the father sent his word to heal us from every sickness and disease. Let's take a look at, at Romans 10, 5. Yep. Yeah. So we see that. Paul's writing here, he says, for Moses writes that the <laughs> writes that the law's way of making a person right with God requires obedience to all of its commands. But faith's way of getting right with God says, don't say in your heart who will go up to heaven. Come on, to bring Christ down to earth, right? Don't say who will go down to the place of the dead to bring Christ back, right, to life again. In fact, it says, the message is very close at hand. It is on your lips and in your heart. And that message is the very message about faith that we preach. Amen. It's time to raise up, to rise up in the faith mm. and decree God's word out loud. Okay. We, we, we are not to bring him, you know, we're not, God's already done everything. Jesus has already come down here and Mm -hmm. accomplished the work. Mm -hmm. He's already paid the price for your healing. Mm -hmm. He's already paid the price for your mental health. He's already given his body and blood for you and me. And he said, it is finished. It's not a, it's not a work in progress. Right. Amen. He said, it is finished. Yeah. You know, without the blood of Jesus, there is no forgiveness of sin. And it was his blood that was poured out on Calvary. And Jesus paid a very high price for not only for us to have healing in our bodies, mm-hmm. but for you to have revelation of who he is and who you are in Christ. That's why he gave us the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Amen. Because when you open the Bible, mm-hmm. you're reading the word, but the word is reading you. Come you know, on. what am I saying? I'm saying the Holy Spirit is going into the depths of your spirit and yes. your soul and is in his in his looking at you yeah. and helping to feed you Come exactly on. what you need yeah. opening up the revelation of who he is and mm. who he created you to be in this life mm. who you really are in Christ mm. and your purpose and your destiny it's all found in in the lord and uh, as we read the word and he he renews our mind with the washing of the word you know the lord said that in here i wish that above all things that you prosper And be in good health as your soul prospers. What is your soul? It's your mind, it's your will, and your emotions. How does your soul, your mind, will, and emotions prosper? It prospers by feeding your spirit, Mm. spiritual food, by the Holy Spirit. He is the, you know, God, Jesus is not only the word, but he is the bread of life. So we say bread of life, feed us, feed our spirit. What, you know, not our natural bodies, feed our spirit. That our natural bodies will prosper. Come on. That we'll be in good health. Yeah. And prosper in this life. Yeah. That's how important it is that you feed your spirit feed with the word of God. Yeah. When it says, they are not been led by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Yes. And Hallelujah. Drink in the living water. That's right. That's the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. He waters that word seed. When you read the word, when you hear the word, that word seed is going in your spirit. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit waters that seed. It says the the farmer said, he says, uh, you know, we 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 sow we sow the seed, but we we go to bed and we wake up. We don't know how, but somehow that crop comes up. Guess what? It's the same with the word. Mm -hmm. The word seed goes in, the Holy Spirit waters Mm -hmm. that seed and faith comes up and that grows up in our life amen because it becomes powerful yeah. hallelujah amen. so jesus paid a high price <laughs> for not only for your healing but for you to have revelation of who he really is and who he created you to be and your purpose and you know every miracle every healing 
Every word of prophecy, every word of wisdom, every word of knowledge is a pearl of great price that Jesus paid for. They are precious gifts unto the children of God. So do not play around with the gifts. Don't play with his gifts. These are pearls of great price. So every time God gives you a word, this is not to trample on. This is not to throw to the to the swine and let them trample on it. This is a pearl of great price that the Father has given you. It's precious. Hallelujah. And he paid with faith for it with the flesh of his body yeah. and his blood for yeah. you. Hallelujah. And yeah. all this was done at Calvary. Right. And, and, you know, it is not him that has fallen short here. Come on, we got to say it's us. it's us. It's us. And, you know, what? we've all fallen short of the glory of God. We've all fallen short, but it's time to become mature Christians. We've got to rise up in spiritual maturity yeah. and, and and press forward Amen. to hit the mark of the Amen. high calling of God on our life. Hallelujah. Yeah. We have to become fully persuaded. Ooh, Are you fully say. persuaded today? Yeah. Hallelujah. You know we preach that. You got to be fully persuaded That's right. that he is who he says he is. And yeah. he's going to do what he says he's going to do so that we can receive. Yeah. In our lives, you know, ask yourself, am I really fully persuaded? Mm. Where's oh, my wow. faith? What do I have my faith and trust in? Mm. Is mm. it is it in the whole the uh, is it in you know the things that you eat, you know, eating natural foods and holistic stuff? Is it in in the drugs and the, the stuff that the doctors are giving you? I mean, yeah, it's, these things are good for your body and what you already got to do, but where's your faith though? Right. What are you, what is your, what are you trusting in? Right. Because the, you know, God gives you things to help your body, but what is your trust? Right. Hallelujah. It can't be in your job or it your can't boss. Be in your job. Right. It can't be in your career. It can't be in a person. For your finances. <laughs> Look, your he is your source, yeah. not right. your job. I mean, yes, we, we do everything to our best ability. We work on to the Lord. Mm-hmm. We do things with a spirit of excellence, but really the Lord Jesus Christ, the father is your source because he gives us the ability to do <laughs> what we need to do that's right you know the bible says he gives us wisdom to obtain well hallelujah yeah. and he gives us favor yeah with our superiors for promotions right. hallelujah so we have to ask ourselves are am i fully persuaded you know he he wore that crown of thorns that that we might have peace in yeah. our life he is the Prince of Peace. Christians should not be having nervous breakdowns mm-hmm. and suffering depression. Why? Because he paid a high price for us to walk through the storms of this life mm-hmm. in peace. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He took all the beatings, had his flesh ripped wide open, not so that you could just escape hell and go to heaven. He didn't do all that just to save you from hell. He did it. He, he did it all for you to live a Zoe life. Mm-hmm. What is that? God life, an abundant life of power and authority yeah. Yeah. over the devil yeah. and all his enemy, all the enemy, right? right. He, he he did it so that you can be in perfect peace mm-hmm. and walking in love. We we Ooh. don't have to wait until we go to heaven to have that perfect uh, life. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, we know things aren't going to be perfect, but we can walk in this life in revival mm-hmm. in the middle of the storm. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. You can have your own personal revival. Mm-hmm. You know, heaven came down to earth through one man, Jesus Christ. That's right. Hallelujah. And we don't have to wait until we go to heaven to receive our blessings and our inheritance. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> we want you to know that it doesn't matter what your boss has said. Does it matter what the doctors has said? However, you you've been however you've been feeling. Your flesh doesn't dictate, you know, where is the where the enemy has come against your life. The, the, he doesn't dictate. Our God has the last word. Our God has given us mighty benefits to live an abundant life. And the problem that we have in this life is a sin problem. It's a sin problem. And if we, if we got a, 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 some things going on, we need to make sure that every day. That we're repenting of all known and unknown sin and we're releasing people yeah. that, uh, that that maybe we have some unforgiveness in our heart. Mm-hmm. But, you know, sometimes attacks just come because you're in the perfect will of God. Sometimes you're going through some testing and, you know, God's giving you. He said, I'll never test you above what that you're, you're able to you above what you're able. The Holy Ghost will strengthen you and yeah. help you get right through that. Right. Amen. 
but it, it's not God's will for you to be after it, it go through on a cycle after cycle after cycle of trouble. Right. And lack. And I mean, there, you've got everything. to stop and say something else is going on that's here right. on. that's demonic that needs to be broke. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And you need to seek help for that. If there is cycles of, of issues like that, because that's not the will of the Lord. No. God wants you an abundant life and he wants you in peace. Amen. And uh, if you believe that, um, if you believe that that God has redeemed you and you you're fully persuaded, just just you got to say so. Yeah. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. I'm redeemed. I'm say redeemed. I'm redeemed. I'm redeemed. Amen. So if you can, if you have your Bible, if you're taking notes, turn to Galatians three. We're going to look at uh, verses 13 and 14. It says uh, it has a very, very paramount scriptures here that we wanted. Uh, we've got we've got to make sure that we all get this in the body of Christ. So let's look at it together, because in Galatians three, verses 13 and 14, it says, but Christ has rescued us. It doesn't say that he's rescuing us. Right. It doesn't say that he's redeeming us, but has redeemed us. Yeah. He has rescued us. It's right. past tense. Yeah. And you are no more being redeemed, being redeemed, than you are becoming a, a, a citizen of the kingdom. You don't have to become born again over time. Mm -hmm. You're not on a spiritual journey to be born again. You've already been born again. Amen. You yeah. were born again when you first believed and you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yeah. It was sealed and it was finished right then. You were born again. You were redeemed yes. from the curse. You were rescued right then. Yeah. But and it says, but Christ has rescued us. And right then you are a blood bought child of God from the most high. He yeah. has blood bought Amen. you into yeah. the kingdom. Come on. That's right. You're not your old <laughs> self trying to live a holy life. The old you is dead. Come on. Behold, all things have become new. That's what scripture tells us. Mm -hmm. He has redeemed us mm -hmm. from the curse pronounced by the law. Come on. When he was hung on the cross, he took up himself the curse for our wrongdoing. For it's written in the scriptures, cursed is everyone who is hung on a tree. Mm -hmm. Right? Everything that the enemy wanted to put on all of us, Christ took upon himself. He took it. He took it. And he laid down his perfect, sinless life for you and me. All, for all of you. the world came upon him. Yeah. Ah, Come hallelujah. On. Hallelujah. He did it. And he, he took it all. He felt that distance between him and the father at that moment, too. Right. Because he hadn't felt it before. He had never felt the, the distance between right. him the and separation the separation because of sin. But he had to feel that for us. He had to feel that for he us. He had to take the sin so his yes. flesh could die. Oh, hallelujah, Shh. hallelujah. People will say that Christians are supposed to have affliction. Let's talk about this, mm. that we're somehow supposed to be afflicted because we're Christians right. in this life. But you know what? The, we, we do have afflictions. We do have persecutions mm -hmm. for his name's sake. But let's look at, at this because many people are putting uh, our afflictions with that we're afflicted with disease and sickness mm -hmm. or we're, we're, we're having to suffer through with some type of sickness because we're Christians. And that is not Bible. That is not what the Lord says. The Bible makes it very clear that they are not the, the one and the same. In James 5, the word lays them out very clear that they're two totally two separate things, affliction and, and sickness, sickness and disease. Right, okay, right. So suffering and affliction and sickness and disease are, are separate. Yeah. And, um, and, and it tells us how to deal with them as well. When we look at James 5, 13, it starts out, it says, is any among you afflicted? Mm -hmm. That means it's any of you, of you suffering. Let him pray. That is how we're supposed to deal with suffering and affliction mm -hmm. is pray. Right. Amen. Yeah. And then it goes on and says, if any of you marry, let him sing songs. So it shows you there's something in between. Right. Before he go, they goes into sickness. Mm -hmm. It's a completely different thing. Mm -hmm. This affliction and suffering. Yeah. And it says the third is any among you. Is any sick among you? It says, you know, it, it shows us that sickness is different than affliction. Yeah. In in verse fourteen, it says, "Any is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church." Yeah. So if you're sick, or if you've got a disease that's is, that's racking your body, if you're sick, the word tells us that we're not to wait 
We should deal with it right away. And how are we supposed to deal with it? The word goes on to tell us, let him call for the elders of the church. Let him let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and pray the prayer of faith. It, it says, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Mm-hmm. And, and it says, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed any sins, they shall be forgiven. Look, if, if sin opens the door sometimes for sickness and disease, but not every, not everything, but sometimes. And so we need to cover that base as well. Right. To make sure that we repent. Yeah. And confess our sins, you know, to the Lord, and and receive forgiveness. Come on, Amen. Amen. And, and so that 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 legal right for the enemy to be trying to do something in your body is shut down, and we take authority over the over the darkness. Yes. And um. And in Jesus said He'll heal the sick. Amen. That's how we deal with it. Amen. 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 You know, and the Word goes on to tell us that Elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are. Well, what does that mean? That means that he, even though he was anointed, he was still subject to the things that we are subject to. He was a man. He was a man. Amen. He was no no different other than he he heard God, he obeyed God, and God uh, worked things through his hands. That's right. Come on. And it goes on to say, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. Come on. And it rained not uh, on the earth by a space of three years and six months. And and he prayed again, it says, and the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth her fruit. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, the one convert him and one convert him. Let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death. And shall hide a multitude of sins. <laughs> Come on. This tells us to be involved. Be involved. Be involved. In each other's lives. Yes. Amen. Listen and pray for one another. And be there for one another. Right? Yeah. Come on. You know, because if you're suffering afflictions, keep praying. Come on. Just like we always say, push. Pray until something happens. Amen. Come on. You got to pray through the breakthrough. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because the word of God also tells us how we are to pray. We're to confess our faults one to another yeah. and pray for another, for one another, right? Maybe in the brotherhood. In yes. The, the brother, sisterhood. Yeah. Right. Amen. And the word says that ye may be healed. <laughs> Come on. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Hallelujah. That's how we're to pray. That's how we're to pray. A passionate prayer. Yeah. We need to be passionately in love Persistent. with God. And persistent yeah. believing God with our whole heart, fully persuaded. Yes. Because God says fiery, passionate, fervent prayer right. of a righteous person availeth much. Right. Amen. That means it's going to come through. It's going to come to pass. That's it's, right. You're, what you're praying for <laughs> is going to happen. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. But you know what? Let me take it a little step further. Okay. Because. You know, even even the world will try to name it and claim it. Mm. They'll try to they'll try to do it another way. They're and God calls them a thief and a robber, right? Mm. But you know, you can't obtain and keep something um, unless you are in righteousness, because it's through righteousness that we're established. Right. If you if you obtain. Even even through prayer, you obtain, but you're not walking in righteousness. You're not before the Lord of your best ability. You're not keeping your heart right before the Lord. Uh, you could it could slip out of your fingers mm-hmm. because the, the the you know God won't be mocked. That's right, Amen. And because yeah. and, 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 His Word says we're established in His righteousness. Yeah. yeah, Amen. Absolutely. And and then we have another scripture from John sixteen thirty three. It says, "I have told you these things." So that in me, you have peace. Come on. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. 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 You know, if if some people are falsely accusing you you or, or, uh, or maybe on the job, maybe you've got some things going on in your job and you're being falsely accused on the job or in life. uh, Maybe uh, some people are trying to, to do away with your position or even if it happens sometimes even, you know, 
to even ministers. If people are falsely accusing you or people trying to damage your reputation, people are um, you're saying negative, uh, hurtful things about you. Those are called troubles. OK, those are troubles in life. And Jesus did not take those troubles uh, to the cross. He said that you would have these things happen to you. You know, the, even the world is going to persecute you and, and bring trouble against you, falsely accuse you. Um, and, and he said that you would suffer things for being a true follower of Christ, especially if you are walking in holiness and preaching the fullness of God's word. And it, why do I say that? It, that could even happen in ministry because there could be a lot of greasy grace people uh, in ministry that are are compromising the word of God. And because you are sticking to the short, more sure word of prophecy, the word of God, um, you could be uh, getting railed against because you are walking and talking the true word of God. Amen. Yeah. So there's persecutions that can happen um, even in that kind of way. But, you know, he said he didn't say that he was going to take and nail those troubles to the cross. He said that you have to expect it. You know, they, they first hated him. And if and if he said if you follow if you follow him you follow, he says if you follow me then they're 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 going to hate you too, amen. If you okay. really follow the, him, they're going to hate you. Yeah. And and he said you, you know you will be dragged into court. Some of you mm. for your faithfulness and your your allegiance to me. And listen, this is already happening on the other side of the world. And a lot of people don't think that this can come to America. We're praying against this coming to America, but it's already it's already happening. On the other side of the world where freedoms are taken away for just posting things online, people are getting like two year sentences uh, for um, for posting the word online and taking a stand on God's right. word right. because people have been offended. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so, you know, the word, you know, the Bible tells us that, you know, the world's going to hate us. Right. And they'll even you know, they, sometimes they can even drag you to court for mm -hmm. just your allegiance to the Lord and your faithfulness. So Jesus never said that. Just take it all away. But um, but he also he didn't say was that that you would suffer diseases or sickness because you are a follower of Christ. These these sicknesses and diseases are are not something that are they're not for us. Right. No way. He would never say that a sickness or disease is something you have to suffer as a Christian. What what he said was tell the people that I am coming soon. Mm -hmm. And when you tell them that I'm coming, heal their sick. The Lord has also said, go into all the world and preach the good news. What's the good news? The gospel. Mm -hmm. And when you preach, you know, it, you, you're to also preach the kingdom of God is at hand. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is at hand. What does that mean? It means it's within reach. You've got to reach for it in the spirit. You've got to reach for the kingdom of God to come into uh, operation through you. The Holy Spirit is within you yeah. and, and he's ready to operate through you. The gifts of the nine gifts of the spirit to cause the kingdom of God come into the world and manifest through you now. Yeah. Amen. Right now, he's right now. he's ready to to manifest through you. Now, you don't you don't have to wait for it. Hallelujah. If you only believe it and really receive it, the Holy Spirit can use you right where you are. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. It's not something you earn. It's a gift. It's a gift. These are pearls of great price yeah. that the Lord wants to give to his children. He wants to give to people so that they come into the kingdom. It's not the, the the Lord's will that anyone would be not saved. Amen. He wants everyone saved. So won't you believe for it and receive his divine nature today and believe that God wants to use you. He wants you to be the hands of the feet. You've been given through the, the finished work of Calvary authority over the devil through the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the power of his blood. And when you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire, you are then endued with power from on high to host the Holy Spirit's operation through you. Yeah, yeah. And then if you're born again, the spirit of the Lord already resides in you. He's he's already ready. He's waiting on you to receive this gift of activation mm. to be able to work and answer the call of God on your life. On. You know, the Lord has said greater works that you shall do. Sure. How is that if you're not going to go on and ask the Lord to gift you with the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire? Mm -hmm. We need to be endued with power. He didn't do all that he did for you just to walk through the salvation's door and stand at the door frame. He wants you to get busy. He wants you to get to work. 
He wants you to be the hands and feet of the earth. And how are you going to do what Jesus did unless you believe it and you receive it for yourself? Amen. Because it's through the ministry of the Holy Spirit in and through your spirit that 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 the Lord will, will bring it all to come to pass. Come on. And, you know, Jesus wasn't operating in a small measure of faith. He, he, the measure was not given to Jesus by measure. That's right. And he had that fear to the Lord. No, he had the fullness. He walked in fullness. He walked Amen. in the fullness. Amen. But, Absolutely. But, but the Holy Ghost is the operator through us. Yes. And he is the one who brings forth how much of the gift of faith and the uh, uh, that comes forth through the gifts to get the job and the purpose done that God wants to get done Amen. through you. Amen. Amen. It's, uh, um, desire for us to walk in the fullness hallelujah amen but the, he's still the operator he is still the operator hallelujah. absolutely that's fully yielded <laughs> that's and, right 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 come on so galatians three fourteen says through christ jesus god has blessed the gentiles with the same blessing he promised to abraham so that we who are believers might receive the promised holy spirit through faith Hallelujah. The curse has been broken. It was it was broken. And he loosed the blessings of Abraham to the Gentiles through the finished work of the cross. His death, his burial, his resurrection. Hallelujah. His ascension. Mm. And now he is all seated. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. That's Hallelujah. Right. That's right. And if you water down what he actually did for you, mm. if you water down, if you allow what he did for you to be watered down. Then the watered down version of this Bible of your promises is all that you're going to believe and receive. Mm. Say, I've got to know it. I've got to know. I've it. got to know it. Mm. I've got to know what God did for me. Yes. I've got to know what my inheritance is. Yes. I got to know what the fullness of what I'm supposed to be walking in. Hallelujah. So that I can believe it and receive it. Full he, strength. Full strength. I mean, <laughs> you know, and whatever God wants to bring through our lives, right. amen. To touch I mean, others, not watered down, not but that's full, like, strength. full strength of the word. <laughs> Hallelujah, full truth. Amen. Yes, that's right. We got to know what He paid for yeah. so that we can walk in it. Yeah, and not in, not the watered down version either. Amen. Come on, that's right. You know, amen. You know, we are going to leave you with this today. The Word tells us that my my righteousness I hold fast. And I will not let go. My heart shall not reproach me so long as I live. That's right. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Hold fast. Hallelujah. Mm, like the Lord. Christ as a son over his own house. Hallelujah. You are a spiritual house. Mm. Whose house we are. If we hold fast to the confidence and the rejoicing of, of the hope firm unto the end. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast to our profession. Hallelujah. Mm. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith. Don't waver in it. For he is faithful that promised. Hallelujah. Ready. What you have already. Hold fast till I come, the Lord said. Amen. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard. And hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. And lastly, behold, Jesus said, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man taketh thy crown. Wow. So whatever the Lord has destined for you in your life, what he's been speaking to you mm. about, what he's been leading you to do in this life hold fast yes. to your personal promises and destiny that someone else doesn't try to take your crown hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. well we want to pray for you tonight all of our viewers have Amen. would you like to be prayed yes praise lord, lord father we thank you for every viewer tonight lord, every yes. person that's live on this meeting we bless them in the name of the lord jesus christ lord father help us to hold fast yes. to our profession of our faith help us to hold fast lord god to everything that you've given us to do in this life the projects the the wonderful things that you were co-laboring with you on lord father that we don't drop it that we don't put it aside but we hold fast that no one steals our crown oh lord father we thank 
thank you for the fullness of what you've done. Lord, help us to be more aware of your presence and your spirit. Help us, the Lord God, to have the revelation of all that you paid for us to walk in in this life. Thank you, Lord, for every pearl of great price that you paid for and what that you've allowed for us to have for every miracle, every healing, every time you've answered a prayer, every time you came through for us, Lord. Lord, Father, we thank you. We know that they're every one of them, Lord, was a pearl of great price. Lord God, we thank you for the prophetic word. We thank you for the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge. Lord God, we thank you for the healing. We thank you for the miracles, Lord God. Oh, Lord, you paid a high price for us, Lord. Lord, Father, you a high price for us to be endued with power. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you, Lord God, for the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. Thank you, Lord God, that we have an opportunity to be your hands and feet in the earth. Thank you, Lord. Lord Father, we ask you right now to impart and activate the gift of faith in every viewer today. Lord God, every viewer, Lord, activate the gifts of the Spirit. Cause them, Lord Father, to have the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire, Lord God. Lord Father, they, they would have the evidence of speaking in tongues that they would know that they've been endued, Lord Father, to be able to do the work of the ministry. Oh, Lord Father, we bless you. Lord Father, we seal that to them now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow, we just really want to thank you for joining us here tonight at uh, High Tower Ministries International for our Greater Glory broadcast. And we really hope that this show has edified and encouraged you in the Lord. Amen. You know, if this ministry has been a blessing to your life, we want you to prayerfully consider becoming a partner, a monthly partner with Hightower Ministries. It's easy to do. You can get connected with us by and register with us for on our website for our monthly newsletter. Uh, and, and as you become a partner for $20 or more, you, you get a special access into our partner portal which has got special messages and we're going to be putting some wonderful things there for our partners. That's not going out on the regular social media platforms. So become a partner with Hightower Ministries and uh, and know that everything that you give to this ministry, 100% goes to carrying the gospel and paying for production, paying for anything this ministry needs, graphics, all types of different things, uh, you know, buildings, uh, rentals, and uh, everything that we need to do with uh, music ministry, our equipment, it's all covered by things that, what is coming in. So we we thank you for your donations. We thank you, those that are a part of this ministry, for being faithful tithers in this yeah. ministry. We know that God said that he rebukes the devour off your finances. Yeah. And we stand in agreement with you right now that the, the enemy is rebuked off of your finances and that, that the 90% is so blessed that it's more than enough, yeah. that it's more than 100% cursed. It's, it's more than enough. Amen. And the seeds that are sown in this ministry, some will receive 30, 60 or 100 fold blessing. And that is all determined on your faithfulness and obedience to the Lord. So be faithful, be obedient to God. So because we're believing for a 100 fold blessing for you. And we've had many, many testimonies that have come through Hightower Ministry. God has blessed us people with new homes, new cars, new jobs. Uh, He always comes through. The bills are always paid. God always makes a way, doesn't he? Absolutely. Promotions a year after year, raises year after year. God is faithful. And so get connected with us at HightowerMinistry.org and become a partner today. Uh, We also, you can get get connected with all of our ministry links by going to something called Link Tree. And it's a backslash high tower ministries. We'll put the uh, the put it the link in the comment section below so that it opens up all of our tabs and and uh, you can see our ministry itinerary mm-hmm. on our website. Um, and through these tabs, you can see our YouTube uh, channel and all types of different th- things that we have going on. Revival services and special mini- ministry events. That's right. And you can also be directly linked to our high tower international Facebook page uh, with one click of the button there at Linktree. And uh, you'll enjoy the five broadcasts that are going out each week, uh, live streams, our Greater Glory broadcasts, and uh, our Testimony Tuesday broadcast. Every Tuesday, we have special guests that come on from around the world and uh, share with us what uh, is going on and through their ministry and and share testimonies about what uh, God has done. Amen. A great prophetic teaching comes a lot, comes Absolutely. through all of our shows here at High Tower Ministries. So don't miss a show, whether it's Greater Glory or, or Testimony Tuesday. We always got something in store for you. Amen. You know, there's so much more there at Linktree at High Tower Ministries. Uh, you can also get 
connected straight into our WDN podcast network, Mm -hmm. which we have hundreds, I mean, about over 300 podcasts there for your spiritual growth. So take us on the go with you. And also make sure you visit our YouTube channel. We're really starting to boost that up now. Uh, and subscribe and hit the hit that little button there so you don't miss a show there on YouTube. Uh, we have new uploads that are going out uh, Three, every, every week. week. Every week, so please visit the YouTube channel and support hit the us. button. Subscribe. That's right. Subscribe and support us and yeah. share it with your friends. Yeah. There's a lot of people that say they're not on Facebook, and so YouTube would be the way to go for them. Yeah. So you, yeah, we we do have an opportunity, a, a platform that can be shared to anyone, yeah. whether it's an email link um, or a, a text. Yeah. Amen. And you can go directly to our website and watch. Uh, the broadcast there as well. That's right. You can get connected right to all of our podcasts and our and broadcasts off of our website. So yeah. even uh, when we're, if they're not on Facebook, there's other ways to get connected with Hightower Ministry. Amen. Amen. And then, so know about these links uh, and uh, get them out. Uh, if you've got a personal prayer request that you don't want to comment under the comment section below, feel free to reach out to us personally. Uh, there is a tab for prayer requests on our website and on Linktree. We'd Amen. love to hear from you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And pastors, we're available. If you'd like uh, us to be a part of your conference or be a uh, part of your guest ministry schedule, reach out to us. Uh, there's a place right there on our webpage as well uh, that you can reach out to us and uh, invite us in to be guest ministry for your special events. And then we love to be part of what you're doing. Absolutely. Hallelujah. So we just want to thank you for joining us here at Hightower Ministries International. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Please share, share, share. And until next time. Be blessed. Be blessed. Thank you for listening to the Hightower Ministries podcast. Our shows are broadcast each week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. For more information about this ministry and to acquire our resource materials for spiritual growth, visit our website at www.hightowerministry.org. Look for Hightower Ministries on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Get connected with us. We would love to hear how the Lord is moving through this ministry and how the Word of God is impacting your life. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to rate and review on Apple Podcast and subscribe wherever you listen so you don't miss a show.